And in this, we've got uh, Calvin Smith, uh, one of the favourites for a medal, uh, running in lane seven for the Americans. Here now is Ron Pickering. Well, the uh, sprinters have got perfect conditions, and uh, there are 13 heats. Uh, not exactly a packed stadium first morning, but they will get the chance to see the great uh, sprinters in action. And the first three in each of the heats go through to the second round, plus nine. And there's the uh, lineup. It's Muyaba from Zimbabwe, the Algerian Selmi, the Hungarian Kovac, who should be one of the three, Mardi from uh, Indonesia, then Ndinga from the Congo, Ratzin from the Soviet Union, another of the pro probable qualifiers, and Calvin Smith, former world record holder, in lane seven, with a man from Liechtenstein on his right. So there's a fair spread in this international. There's Calvin Smith going to his blocks. The unrecognized hero of sprinting, really, in the uh, shadow of Carl Lewis and Ben Johnson. But my word, he's capable of uh, some upsets here. He's been around a long while. He's uh, been a superb sprinter, the greatest third leg sprinter in the world on that American relay team. But uh, the world champion in 83 and 88 at 200 meters, quite apart from a gold medalist in the relay. And uh, although he occasionally, in the politest way, complains about him not being in the limelight, I think he likes uh, the lower profile. He's, um, he's smaller than uh, either Lewis or Johnson. He's a flapper. He's, uh, he runs on top of the ground. He doesn't draw power. He hasn't got the power expression that the other two have, although, of course, Carl Lewis is an elegant sprinter. But this guy is a flapper with his arms waving about all over the place. You wouldn't use him uh, for a film on sprinting to demonstrate to youngsters, but you would his attitude and you would his results. Calvin Smith, who has run 9.93 back in 83, and uh, here in this lineup of the second heat, of which the first three go forward, plus nine from all the heats into the second round. What about the first heat uh, run by Robson Silva of Brazil, 10.37, Madonia of Italy in second place, 10.40, and Cheng of Taipei, third, 10.48. Well, 5.29, just saw bouncing up and down. Kovac of Hungary, Hungarian record holder. And there's the... Uh, there's Mardi Mardi from Indonesia, who's run 10.32, so he's very good. In red, Henry Ndinga from the uh, Congo. This might be uh, a new experience for him. The Soviet yeah. Union's Andre Ratzin, who's a 10.2 man. Soviet 100 meter champion Calvin Smith be puffing away he's probably still chewing his gum which is his trademark and then Marcus Buschel of Liechtenstein and uh, the crowd we cut away you're seeing on the far side there's a bigger crowd on this side as a matter of fact so there must be 35,000 people in the stadium uh, although this 100,000 seater stadium looks relatively uh, half empty Calvin Smith lane 7 then Good man on his left from the Soviet Union, Ratzin. And in lane three, Kovac. Good discipline at the start. And Calvin Smith gets away, and he's really flying, but on his left, uh, it's Ratzin. And now Calvin breaks away in the middle, though. It's away from Ratzin. Marty, Marty, and Kovac were the other two. And Ratzin will have to wait. And I may have done Marty, Marty, an injustice. I said he ran 10.32, and he looked pretty impressive in lane four. Kovac was another of the qualifiers, but there was no problem to Calvin Smith in lane seven. Just having a look at the scoreboard to see whether his time has gone up. 10.27. 10.27, and here he is. Well, he's, he's looking better. He usually has... Uh, he's got his fists clenched rather more than he usually has. He usually has his fingers pointed, but it's pretty good stuff. Watch the, uh, the relaxation of the facial muscles there. And he has just a look over to his left because that's where his, uh, the nearest men to him are. Marty Marty in lane four, Attila Kovac in lane three, but Calvin Smith home and dry. 10.27 is time. 